Hello my Pisces and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. I am Debbie and I am reading for April 21st through the 27th, Friday through Thursday. Now I have done a, an overview of course, um, what is it, be not afraid. Things are changing, things are moving, so don't be afraid, keep those vibrations high. I also remind you that, um, you know, I tell you stuff in that video, so take a peek at it. I also remind you that these are general readings that they may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Do you ever feel like it's all up to you, my Pisces? I just feel like it's, you know, there's just this sense of, this sense of, you know, everything is on your shoulders, especially with this week. Um, you know, this week, now we have the, we have a new moon. The new moon, I told you, is kind of in a weird, you know, weird place. Um, I've told you that in the past. Uh, we also have Mercury going retrograde, so there's a lot of things to revisit. We just have, and I just feel like, yeah, it's it's like it's on your shoulders. It's it just feels like it's all up to you, my my Pisces. Not sure why. It probably has to do with Neptune and Saturn, you know, being in Pisces and there's clarity but you can do it you can do whatever this is that you need to finish or you need to um resolve you can do this you can do this my pisces not always easy but it is um it is something that it's your like your divine task if you want to even say that okay higher power holy spirit god source what do you want to say besides that to our pisces we'll have one two and three this one's reversed so this has a little stronger energy we'll put this over here let's see what we've got here for my pisces is it all on your shoulders whatever it is you can you can you can get it done here we go first card is well the three of ariel now three celebration creation the power of three ariel is earth energy taurus taurus lots of stuff going on with taurus expect the unexpected uranus is still there um, you know, we have the Taurus, you know, that moon thing going on here, and we have Mercury retrograde. So this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, money, job, career. Um, this is be creative. This is whatever the solution is, whatever you're looking for. It's not going to be as straight or clear cut as you think it's going to be. Okay, you need to think outside that box. You need to you need to look at all your resources, whatever this is all about. Like I said, I feel that there's this this sense of duty, this weight on your shoulder, and it's not a clear cut answer. So you have to expand your mind. You have to expand your what you know your thoughts. You have to reach out and you know again too. I'm always telling you to you know reach out, talk to God, source your angels, higher power, your spirit guides. But there's a sense of you need, again, we'll say, you know, you need to be creative. You need to ask for more. You need to, like I said, there. you need to expand your horizon. You need to expand your thoughts, okay? So do what you love. I mean, I know that that's one thing, and then here we're having here. Do what you love, a time of great personal growth, in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. Again, I keep getting this, expand your mind, expand your thoughts. It's like, you're, you know, don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. You know, think bigger than what you even think, okay? So if, you know, if, and again, sometimes this comes down with salaries. If you're asking for a salary, if they're saying, oh, we're going to give you, um, you know, let's say, let's say $10 an hour, ask for 13 Okay, all, all they have to do is say no, and then you can, you know, then ask for 12. Again, expand your knowledge, ask for more, think bigger than what you have. Okay, something about thinking bigger. Next card, the five of Michael. So five has change energy, positive, negative. Michael is air energy, airy, I'm sorry, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I talk about those in the overview. Thought processes, thinking things through, making plans. So this is that sense of, you know, there's a sense of discontent here. There's also a sense with the five, when it's the five of swords, there's always that sneaky snake, okay? And maybe that's why I'm saying you, you, you've got to look outside the box. You've got, or I know, think outside that box. Think of the alternatives. Expand your thoughts. Expand your plan. Be creative, okay? Because the five of fire comes and... 
not necessarily a happy energy that's trying to be very um, supportive of you, okay? This is not a supportive energy, and you need to be aware of it. Again, I get this. It's all on your shoulders. You're feeling the weight of the world in many, many ways. So, But you don't have to, you don't have to succumb with it. You don't have to be pushed down with it. You just need to be more creative with it. Does that make sense? Okay, and again, vibrations very, very high. So, the situation doesn't, doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. And that's interesting about releasing your um, attachment to the outcome. Just get the job done and do what you need to do with it. Um, you know, if you're looking for, you know, if you're, if you're looking for acclimate, you know, somebody to say, oh, wow, Pisces, great job. Let go of that. Get the job done. There's, there, there, it will come to you. Just get it done. And again, you, you're, you've got to expand your thoughts. You've got to expand your, how you're approaching something here. It, it's, okay, let's see. Reverse energy. You move forward. Okay, so we have a three, five, we have a six. Six is the number of man. Whatever it is, you do get through it. You do get it done. You do, you know, you do take control of that situation. This is the Six of Michael, the Six of Swords. Again, we know what Swords energy is all about. And again, I am picking up that Pluto in Aquarius. You're not, you're not, um, you're not settling into their mode, uh, their, you know, th their mold, okay? You're not, you're not meeting, I don't want to say you're not meeting their expectations. Actually, you can go beyond whosever expectations this is or whoever's outcome it's like you're not you're not um you're not following the pack you're not you know you're in more of a this leadership you're kind of again a lot of it's on your shoulders you feel like the you know you can handle this um you break their mold okay you're breaking their mold you're not doing it the way they wanted you to do it but yet you're doing really well with it now Again, watch out for Sneaky Snake, though, because even when you are successful, there's always something that wants to kind of uh, poke at you a little bit more. But the Six of Michael, moving on, going into the light, light at the end of the tunnel type of energy here, too. But I go back to this three where you need to, like I said, you need to expand your thinking, expand your mind, expand your, uh, you know, just your whole presentation, Okay, I don't know what this is about. You let me know. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. Interesting with that. Again, it's like, you know, you're feeling the weight of the world. You're, or I shouldn't say, you just feel like it's all up to you. It's all up to you. And like I said, you need to break their mold. You need to break their mold. Do something unexpected, my Pisces, okay? Do something unexpected. Don't. Don't do the same old, same old with this, with this, whatever is going this, whatever the situation is. Okay, angels, guardian angels, what else would you like to say to our Pisces? What else would you like to say to our Pisces? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What would you like to say? Okay, this one is reversed. Healer of emotion. So this is the queen of water. Underlying energy, water. Emotion, water, your energy. The queen stands up, very loving, very caring. Again, I just feel there's a lot on your shoulders right now. Be creative. Do do things that they're, you know, do things that they're not expecting. And it works really, really well for you. But the healer of emotion, okay, this is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions. You may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forget to take care of yourself, to take care for yourself. Flashes of intuition provide you with incredible insights. You or another person is a kind, tender-hearted, loving, and trustworthy friend. I like that, though, where you're taking care of the situation so much. Don't wear yourself out. Take care of yourself during the same time, okay? Something interesting with this card over there. Okay, here we go. Let's see, my Pisces. 
Angels of Abundance, what, can you give us some clarity on this or what's going on for our Pisces here? Because this is, like I said, they've, they've, they've got to expand their thinking, expand their direction, expand, you know, don't do, if you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. That's, that's really the, I think, the gist of this all. So you've got to do something unexpected. You've got to do something, you, you know, there's a different energy, differences here. Okay, let's see. Oops. Okay, that one fell onto my lap, and here we go. All right. Cooperation instead of competition. Well, it's got to be hard to find that cooperation because I feel like this one wants to compete with you, but, again, do something a little different. What's yours is yours, and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete as there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited um, abundance for yourself and to share with others. Well, that would be different, too. Not for Pisces, but just in general humanity. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. How does that fit with all of that? Let me know. Let me know. Okay, let's go on. We are going to ask the angels for answers, so get your question ready. But before we do that, what crystal or energy would be helpful for our Pisces? And what did this, can you clarify this? Let me know, my Pisces, what this mess means. So we had a 356653. Here we go. Crystal or energy for our Pisces. Yeah, do the unexpected. Earth. Abundance. Fertility. Harvesting and logic. Interesting with that too. So stay grounded. Stay grounded during this time. Again, I feel like it's just like you feel like the weight's on your, like, oh, I've got to get this done. And it's not just for you that you have to get it done. It's it's like it's for, you know, it, it's like everyone's counting on you too. So, okay, let's go on. Okay, remember, with these cards, don't base life decisions on it. And I say that because um, <laughs> when I use the cards, ah, they don't always give me the answers that I want. So let's see. For our Pisces, what answer do you want to give to Pisces? What's the answer for Pisces? What's the answer for Pisces? It's a pink one, so that's a little bit, um, usually it's a little ambiguous. Here we go. Abundance. Ooh, abundance. We do have the three of abundance. Again, you know, be, be creative in in the solution. Be creative in the solution. Abundance. I can deal with that. Okay, so my Pisces, did this make sense or was this just a hot mess? Anyway, please give me, um, please comment, let me know. Also, the best thing to do to support the channel is to do the like. Like all the, yes, just go up and down the playlist. Like, 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 like. Also, too, it is good to subscribe and to click on the bell for notifications. If you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me. As always, though, my Pisces, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.